Have you ever stopped for a moment to wonder just how big the universe really is? It's a question that has puzzled humanity for centuries. This vast, seemingly infinite expanse of space and time that surrounds us is a concept that is, quite frankly, overwhelming. But let's try to wrap our heads around it, shall we? The enormity of the universe is something that humans have been trying to understand since the dawn of civilization. Ancient astronomers would look up at the stars, trying to map the skies and understand the world beyond. They believed in a cosmic dome, a firmament of sorts, with Earth sitting comfortably at the center. But as our knowledge grew, so did our understanding of the universe. We came to realize that we aren't at the center of everything, but rather a tiny speck in the grand scheme of things. Fast forward to the present day, and our scientists have a slightly better understanding. But even with all our advanced technology and in-depth research, the exact size of the universe remains elusive. Why is that? It's because we can only observe a portion of it. This observable universe, as it's called, is the region of space from which light has had time to reach us. Now imagine a horizon, the furthest point you can see from where you're standing. That's what we call the cosmic horizon. It's the boundary of our observable universe. Beyond it, there's more universe, but it's so far away that the light from there hasn't had time to reach us. We simply don't know what lies beyond. So when we talk about the size of the universe, we're really talking about the size of the observable universe. This concept brings with it a sense of wonder and mystery. As we continue to explore and try to understand the infinite cosmic ocean we're a part of. So, how do we go about measuring something as vast as the observable universe? Well, it's not as simple as pulling out a tape measure. Scientists have developed some innovative methods to estimate the size of the universe. And two of the most significant are redshift and cosmic microwave background radiation. Let's start with redshift. When we observe distant galaxies, we notice that their light appears more red than it should be. This is due to the Doppler effect, the same phenomenon that makes a car engine sound different as it moves towards and away from us. As the universe expands, it stretches the light traveling through it, shifting it towards the red end of the spectrum. By measuring this redshift, we can estimate how far away a galaxy is and thus get a sense of the size of the universe. Next, we have cosmic microwave background radiation. This is the afterglow of the Big Bang, still detectable today, almost 14 billion years later. By studying this radiation, scientists can understand more about the early universe and its subsequent expansion, giving us another way to measure its size. But how do we talk about such enormous distances enter the light year? A light year is the distance that light travels in one year, which is approximately 6 trillion miles. It's a unit that allows us to make sense of the mind-boggling distances between celestial bodies. So, using these methods and units, what have we found? Well, we've estimated that our observable universe is a staggering 93 billion light years in diameter. That's the distance light has traveled since the universe became transparent to light after the Big Bang. However, there's a twist. This figure refers only to the observable universe, the part we can see from Earth. There could be, and likely is, much more universe beyond that. With these tools, we've estimated the observable universe to be about 93 billion light years in diameter. But remember, that's just what we can see. That's the tip of the cosmic iceberg, and who knows what marvels lie beyond our current sight. But what lies beyond the observable universe? Is there more out there that we simply can't see? Indeed, these questions have puzzled thinkers and scientists for centuries. The observable universe, the part of the cosmos where light has had time to reach us, is undeniably vast. Yet it's only a small slice of what may exist out there. Let's delve into the world of theoretical cosmology, where scientists propose theories that might answer these tantalizing questions. One such theory is the concept of the multiverse, suggesting that our universe might be just one of many. Imagine a cosmic bubble bath, where each bubble represents a different universe, each with its own laws of physics and dimensions. Then picture our universe as just one of these bubbles, floating in a sea of countless others. The multiverse theory is fascinating, isn't it? But hold on to your hats, because we're not done yet. Another theory proposes an infinite universe, where space extends indefinitely in all directions. If this were true, it would mean there are an infinite number of galaxies, stars, planets, and even versions of you and me. The notion of infinity is a tough one to wrap our heads around, but it's a concept that has been around since ancient times, and it's one that scientists are still grappling with today. 
But it's important to remember that these are just theories, models created by our human minds in an attempt to make sense of the cosmos. They are not proven facts and they may be revised or even discarded as we gather more data and develop new technology. While these theories are fascinating, they remind us of how much we still don't know. The universe, it seems, always has more mysteries for us to uncover. As we continue to explore and discover, we are constantly reminded of our place in the cosmos, a tiny speck in the grand tapestry of existence. Each new discovery, each new theory is a testament to our enduring curiosity and our quest for understanding. The universe is vast, mysterious, and beautifully complex, and we have the privilege of being a part of it. So what does all this mean for you? What is our place in this vast universe? As we journey through the cosmos, we are confronted with an overwhelming sense of scale. The universe is so big, so incredibly vast, that it's almost impossible to truly grasp. But don't be disheartened. Understanding the size of the universe doesn't diminish our significance. It only changes our perspective. Imagine viewing Earth from space, a tiny blue dot in the grand cosmic sea. It's a humbling sight, isn't it? It's also a revelation. The cosmic perspective, as it's called, is this sense of humility combined with a sense of wonder and awe. It's the realization that we are part of something much larger, much grander than ourselves. It's easy to feel small and insignificant in the face of such cosmic enormity. But consider this. We on our little planet, in our tiny corner of the universe, have the ability to understand and appreciate the cosmos. We can look out into the universe, observe distant galaxies, and begin to understand their workings. That's no small feat. The cosmic perspective can also be a source of inspiration. It's a call to our curiosity, our desire to understand the world, the universe, and our place in it. It's a call to strive for greater things. For if we can understand the universe, what can't we achieve? Living with a cosmic perspective can change how we see our world and our lives. It can inspire us to be more curious, more compassionate, more driven. It can remind us of our interconnectedness, not just with each other, but with the universe itself. And who knows, perhaps understanding the universe can lead us to better understand ourselves. For we are, after all, made of stardust. We are a way for the universe to know itself. In the grand scheme of the universe, we may be small, but that doesn't mean we can't make a big impact. The size of the universe is a thought-provoking topic, one that challenges us to broaden our perspectives. As we journeyed through this cosmic exploration, we've touched upon the enormity of the observable universe, measured in mind-blowing distances that can only be expressed in light years. We've discussed how astronomers and scientists use advanced tools and theories to attempt to quantify the vastness of space. We also ventured into the intriguing realm beyond the observable universe, diving into theories that propose a reality even more expansive, filled with multiverses and dimensions beyond our comprehension. Yet, amidst this colossal cosmos, we've also reflected on our unique place within it. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember, the universe is bigger than we can possibly imagine and there's always more to discover. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to like and subscribe.